forum recently and I saw a post where someone said they were having trouble pushing their wheelchair efficiently so I want you to do a quick video on how you're best meant to be seated in your chair and how to push properly but I wanted to start by saying I'm not an occupational therapist or a physical therapist or a doctor or any of these things so if you have been given advice by a professional it trumps mine I just wanted to give some basic guidelines that I have picked up in my time in a chair so one of the first things I want to look at is seating, how you should be seated in your chair. So first things first, if you are sitting in your chair nice and still, nice and upright, with your hands hanging down by your sides, your fingertips should touch these centre bits here. I can't remember they're called hubs, axles, whatever. They could be touching the top, they could be touching the bottom or the middle, but they should be touching them basically. So that way when you push, your arms will be going from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Obviously I don't have heaps of room in here, but you get the idea. So that is your most efficient way of pushing. In a moment I'm going to bring my other older chair up and I'll show you how different it is and how hard it is to push efficiently. So this is my first wheelchair. It was about $450 plus the original cushion. So these ones, although they've got your big wheels, they're actually more designed for you to be pushed around than to push yourself. They're not set up for pushing yourself at all. Um, the wheels are set further apart. So this back wheel is actually set further back. So I'll sit my hand sit upright. You can see why my hands reach. So the button, is actually down and back a bit. So when I try and push, it's actually a lot harder for me to get to that 10 o'clock position because of everything that's going on. However, it does mean that the chair is a lot more stable. It's less likely to tip, um, which is good for people who aren't very active. I mean, I, I don't even know if I could do a wheelie in this thing. Oh, nah, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is in the description of this video, I'm going to link uh, one video on how to change the center of gravity on your chair because mine is set up for me and I don't want to change it. And another one, if I can find it on the most efficient way of pushing. It's a video of this guy on a treadmill basically and he's pushing his chair. I'll see if I can find that one and link it. But I just wanted to give you a basic rundown of how you should be sitting in your chair and um, the most general efficient way to push so from that 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock position so i thought i'd quickly show you anyway roughly how you would change it i don't know how to do it exactly it's allen keys and blah 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 but my chair actually drops down occasionally when i drop off of curbs i don't even know if you can see it let's go back a bit um this rod here slides down on these bars so that would actually change the height of where my wheels are sitting so if your finger wasn't reaching that button you change the height here um, so like I said occasionally when I drop down curves and my fat ass pushes my seat down it'll change and I have to change it back as far as forwards and backwards goes it's basically along the side I don't know how well you can see along the side here so you can have it back as a really safe setting or you can have it forward as a really active setting. I've actually sat in a chair with an active setting and every time I pushed my front wheels were coming off the ground. It scared me the first time. But mine's pretty much perfect. If I push hard, my front end will come up, but if I just push, it's generally pretty good. 
And again, it's an individual thing. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. I can't remember what it's up to. But basically adjusting where this center hub sits, so forwards or backwards, up or down, is your center of gravity. And every time you get a new chair, you're gonna to have to get used to your center of gravity, which affects how easy you can pop it into wheelie and hold a wheelie. Uh, so I think that's basically it.